I'm back. Rudrance for the Black and White Network. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe, punch the like button, and as always, thank you guys and gals for watching our channel. Let's talk about a Florida sheriff. I like to do these kind of videos sometimes, highlighting members of law enforcement that I think, frankly, are just doing a good job. Okay? And uh, in this particular case, we got a 10-year-old that acted like he wanted to commit violence against the school. So this Florida sheriff went and arrested a 10-year-old. This has gotten a lot of publicity all of a sudden. Um, and he is very old school, the sheriff is. He's not that old. He's probably my age, mid-40s kind of guy. But he, he does say a couple of things about parents being unable to discipline children now. You can't discipline children anymore without fear of retaliation. Oh, well, I got my butt spanked. You go to school the next day, next thing you know, somebody's knocking at the door. That's not the way it used to be. My dad was tough on me. He was strict on me. Okay? I don't hold animosity towards my father for it. I mean, my dad was 91 years old when he passed away. Okay? I got raised. When I was 10, my dad was 55. He was old school. Okay, so, uh, and I thank him for that. Rest in peace, Dad. Let's, uh, let's look at this. It, this is crazy. I'm going to sc scroll down to the story, and then we'll play the video. The fifth grader who attends Patriot Elementary School in Cape Coral, Florida, was arrested over the weekend after interviews with detectives for making a written threat to condu conduct a mass shooting. Sheriff Marcino explained even a fake threat will yield real consequence as child safety remains a top priority. This is the kind of thing that must happen. Quote, our policy is zero tolerance. Sheriff Marcino said the second we get a threat, no matter what it is, it's considered real until proven otherwise. So we jumped on it immediately. Tuesday marks one week since 21 people lost their lives. 19 elementary school uh, students and two teachers after a gunman opened fire in Uvalde. Quote, my message is consistent no matter what age. If a 10-year-old, 12-year-old, 18-year-old presses a trigger, the aftermath is the same. I want people to see what's going on, and I want them to know that this county, this state, this great state of Florida means business. Listen to what he says about some parenting here. Our policy is zero tolerance. The second we get a threat, no matter what that threat is, it's considered real until proven otherwise. So we jumped on it immediately. Yep. Uh, you did a campaign, fake threat, real consequence. Obviously, you followed through on that. Yeah, fake threat, real consequence. Simple. I'm asking parents and guardians, I've asked them multiple times, sit your child down and explain, because we know children make mistakes, but we need the parents and guardians to sit down and tell them. Fake threat, real consequence, and here we are today. Yep. We need to get back to the old school. I can tell you this, you know, when I was growing up, my parents just looked at me and I knew all bets <laughs> were off. We need to get back to the old school and hold people accountable. Sheriff, what's going on with our kids? Well, I'll tell you, I think we need to get back to the old school. Like I go. said, what are the repercussions? You know, you make an adult threat and you're a child. Okay, yep. when you go home, are the parents and guardians sitting your children down? I got to tell you, uh, early this morning, I watched one of your uh, attendees talk about a paddling. Okay, when I was growing up, the nun hit you with a, a ruler, a wooden ruler. Okay, you understood what was right and wrong. And today, what do we do? Society says, well, if your parent disciplines you and there's any kind of abuse, come forward so we can report your parent. So parents are afraid. They're afraid to discipline their kids. Let's get back to the old school. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, I just wanted to let y'all to let y'all be able to hear what he had to say. Let's get back to the old school. That's a thing. That should be a thing. He mentioned something. He said my father would give me what we call the death stare. Now, of course, nobody's losing their life, right? My dad would give me the death stare, okay? I can remember it well. I've heard my son. In fact, he just brought this up the other day. We were all sitting around eating. And he said, Dad could just give me the death stare. Well, of course, that's not really a death stare, but you get the point. Okay? It's amazing. I could count on one hand how many spankings my son got. But I was disciplined. You better believe it. And he knew right from wrong without a shadow of a doubt. 
We're losing that. I like the fact that he chose to actually arrest this kid, bring him in, process him, make him take a mug shot, haul him out in handcuffs, send a little of that fear into the kid, a little of the experience of what is going to happen or what could happen. Look, this is the consequence of your action. Even if you cry wolf, you could be in trouble. Look, we've got to start being tougher. We got to start thinking outside of the box. You know, we got to we got to start arming our teachers, resource people, police, retired uh, law enforcement and military in the schools, higher fences. You know, I mean, I I'm I'm not opposed to you know, an eight-foot fence with razor wire on top if they got to to keep students safe. And they and the lefties want to disarm? No. You're leaving everybody vulnerable against criminals and against guys like this guy from Uvalde. And, of course, there's the mental health aspect in this as well. But I wanted you guys to see what this sheriff did, the links he went to to send a message to a, a would-be, even fake threat, would-be, however you want to call it, alleged a kid that just popped off. We're not taking pop-offs anymore. We're not. We're going to handle them as being serious. We're going to send a message. Society wants to coddle. I think there is a lack, a lack of the ability to cope with adversity among youth now. They don't get their way. They cannot handle it. They've been used to instantaneous, uh, you know, instantaneous um, trophies, awards. I've got to win. Even if I lose, I win. No, you you lost and you need to apply yourself to be able to win. That's that's how this is handled. So I wanted to show a little bit of this. I'll probably do a little cut in there. So it'll shorten it up because there's one part I really want you guys to be able to hear. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USAFIRST, all one word. USAFIRST, all one word. 25% off now.